Welcome to another episode of Project Renegade. This is going to be the first in a series of videos featuring Project Renegade. We're going to break it up in quite a few different videos because we're going to be replacing just about the entire suspension system and um, we're going to have some new wheels and tires. And uh, if you saw the video before this one that I released, you'll know that this video has had quite a bit of help from a few companies. Those companies I'll list right over here, which are um, Extreme Terrain, Interco Tire, Detroit Axle, and US Wheel. In this episode, we're gonna start by tackling the rear suspension. I'm gonna get the cameras moved around so you can see what's going on, and then uh, we'll get to work. We'll go ahead and get the wheels off and then we can bring it up higher and put the jack stands underneath it. Now we can jack it up as high as we can and get some jack stands under it. That should be good there. Then we're gonna start removing the shock here. You've got 15 millimeter on this side, 18 millimeter on the other. And then we're gonna remove the top bolt, which is a 15 millimeter. should be able to pull out the bottom bolt and we've got our shock out okay we've got both shocks taken out and now we are going to pull the coils out you can see that I've lowered the bottle jack so we've got plenty of movement with the axle you still want to be careful even though it's secured on jack stands and stuff um, you still want to try to keep as much of your body out from underneath this as possible just as a safety precaution that's just me though. Um, I never trust jacks, jack stands, any of that. But anyway, with the shocks out, we should be able to just push down a little bit here on the side of the axle and take out the coil. Since we're also gonna be replacing the brake pads and the rotors, we're gonna go ahead and remove the caliper because I'm gonna clean up these calipers and uh, give them a coat of paint along with everything else under here. Everything's gonna get scrubbed down and, and painted. These are 13 millimeter. Now we're going to take off the rotors. Um, fortunately, these ones can come off really easy. Um, if they don't, then uh, you can give it a couple whacks with a hammer here and there. And uh, 
If you're replacing the rotor, then you can just feel free to bang on the actual rotor surface if you're replacing the rotor. I'm gonna go in here with a wire brush and everything and uh, start working on getting all this dirt, grime, and rust out of here and start painting stuff. I got all the painting finished. Everything's cleaned up and then painted. Um, I also painted the calipers. I just uh, found some uh, high heat silver. Uh, I just wanted them to kind of look like new calipers. Uh, I didn't really want anything, you know, outrageously colored. Um, you might notice that the uh, rubber boots are silver. Well, uh, I just left the boots in there when I painted it because I've got all new caliper hardware. I went through and took uh, some before measurements because I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm actually going to lift Project Renegade. Um, so I went through on each fender glare and wrote down the measurements for those. And then we can see how much of a lift we actually get. Here's all the old stuff that I took off of there. Um, I've got new shocks. I've got new coil springs. Uh, I, I'm going to clean up and reuse the isolators. I didn't get isolators, uh, but I have all new brakes, you know, pads and rotors. Well, that does it for another episode of Project Renegade. Uh, we tore all the old suspension out, cleaned up all the stuff that we're keeping, and cleaned it up and painted it and all that. Uh, make sure to stay tuned because the next episode, we're going to throw it all back together with new coils, new shocks, new uh, pads, new rotors, new uh, caliper hardware, uh, lift kit. Um, I think that might be it. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but that should all be in the next episode. Like I said, I'm going to try to split this up into quite a few different smaller episodes so you guys don't have to sit and watch, you know, like an hour long episode. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, make sure to stay tuned, like I said, for the other videos that are coming up. I want to thank all the companies that helped out on this project again. Um, Extreme Terrain, Interco Tire, Detroit Axle, and US Wheel. Um, sorry if I keep thanking those guys too much, but I mean, it's, you know, it's really cool when a company helps out a smaller channel like mine and supplies some parts and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed this uh, and uh, if you're not one of my subscribers, make sure to go into my channel and uh, check out a couple other videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. So if you find a video that you like, make sure to hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.